I'm often asked question about toxicity of vitamins, and the only area really worthy of discussion in that regard is vitamin A. Um, absolutely not an issue with any of my products because we don't use any preformed vitamin A in any of our products. That's just not something we do. Actually, truth be told, in our prenatal vitamin, there is a small amount of preformed vitamin A because that's the one time when it would warrant being consumed. Otherwise, preformed vitamin A is actually not beneficial for our health. The only way to consume vitamin A is in its carotenoid form, meaning as beta carotene or alpha carotene. That's the way to consume vitamin A. Otherwise, vitamin A preformed, you might see it on the label of, say, typical multivitamins out in the marketplace as vitamin A, uh, say, acetate or vitamin A palmitate, things like that. These are not ingredients that we use, uh, just not something that should be really in any multivitamin, multimineral supplement of any kind except for a prenatal vitamin. That would be the only place it could be appropriate. Otherwise, it should not be there. It should just be in the form of carotenoids. And it's most important that those carotenoids be in their natural form. Natural beta carotene, natural alpha carotene, it has to be the natural form, the synthetic form, it is not beneficial. In fact, I think it's, it's actually uh, unhealthy. So you don't want to be consuming synthetic carotenoids. I often talk about this during my shows, that ingredients really need to be bioidentical because ingredients, chemicals, as they are in our body, the molecules in our body, they exist in a, in a world as we do, in a world that's three dimension. And one of the simplest analogies I give is I tried to put my right-handed glove on my left hand, it won't work. Even though my hands are identical, they're mirror images of one another. The same in a biochemical environment, you need to make sure that the molecule is the right-handed molecule for a right-handed chemical reaction, the left-handed molecule for a left-handed chemical reaction. And you could have the other isomer, say in terms of carnitine and things, and the other isomer is not just not beneficial or not bioactive, but it could actually be harmful. So you want to make sure that your supplements are bioavailable. I digressed a little bit from vitamin A, but vitamin A is not something that we need to be taking separately at all. In fact, we should not be taking separately at all. We should simply be getting our vitamin A in terms of a supplement in the form of a natural-based carotenoid.